Hi guys, have you ever wondered how these are made? Where did you get those from? I borrowed it from a friend. I've been really curious about the profession of prosthetist and orthotist ever since I filmed the episode with Benjamin the Podiatrist. So here I am today at Kutek Pot Hospital's Piano Clinic. Hi, my name is Claudia and I'm a prosthetist orthotist here at Kutek Pot Hospital. My job is to design and fabricate medical supportive devices to enhance our patients' quality of life. Like this one. Why do you have this with you? Prosthetic and orthotic devices are very important medical devices that have improved the quality of life of many patients. However, as everyone has different unique builds, there comes a need for experts such as Claudia to ensure that the devices can fit and truly help the patient. Okay, so maybe you can have a seat here first. Come on, sit down, sit down. One of the first few things we do here is to create a cast. So let's get a kraken. Let me show you. This now? is the... No. Tomorrow, like, you come back tomorrow. <laughs> Take out my shoe and the socks and. Eee! Eee! Because the devices yeah. have to be worn eee. against your skin directly. Oh my god, I'm very scared, Sally! Okay, never mind. Won't be smelly, lah. Uh, 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 okay, okay, I don't smell anything dry. anymore. Let me dry a bit. <laughs> so, first, we have to protect your skin because plaster makes your skin kind of dry. Okay. So, now I'm just going to mark out some of the bones that you have because in the device that you're making you want to avoid pressing on your yeah. bone so it's just important to know where they are yeah usually problem will present at this area here because a lot of shoes are very skinny in order to look nice and fashionable so usually in casting we want you to keep um, this 90 degree position usually for our prosthetic patients it's very easy to just slide the cast off mm. but here because your foot's still there so okay. it's quite it's gonna be difficult to just pull the cast off so we have to cut it off are you ready yes we assess patients for mobility issues that they have taking into account their other medical conditions and factors such as their living environment and goals they want to attain in order to best design a device to suit their needs Ooh. okay hold your foot there okay then after we remove this thing, we faster hold it back together. This is MJ's leg. <laughs> I think his ankle is pretty good. So on top of this leg, we've also got something interesting here. Mm -hmm. This is actually a cast of one of the patients that we have here who has a below knee amputation. So this is oh. a cast of his residual limb. Anyone wants to <sighs> buy? <laughs> uh, we're going to move on to the next part where we fill, fill this with plaster. Um, so we mix the plaster and we pour it in and then I'll show you where to go from there. Okay. Let's go. Let's go go. Model of my leg. So we pour plaster and it comes out and this is a replica of your leg. Modification will be to remove plaster in some areas where you want to be tight because this is a replica of your leg. And then we'll add plaster on areas like the ankle because the, those are bony areas and we want to make space. A bit like this to remove plaster. Like this. You wanna try? Oh! Ah. Oh, it's like grating cheese! Yeah, exactly! Oh, look at that! I think I, I think I grated too much. It's okay. What do we do now? And Is then this... we can practice adding some plaster as well. Okay. This one is a bit more like, do you bake? Do you? Once in a while, right? You are. Okay, so we want to add it on like in a dome shape. So now it's a bigger version of what it was before, but we don't change the shape beneath. Ah. Huh? 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 Why are you? I, oh. No, I see hi. It's oh, very oh, good. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Yay! Okay, so after we're done, we send this over to Tan Tok Seng, and then you'll take a few weeks and then you'll come back like something like these. Ooh, so you guys don't make the devices here? No, we send them over to Tan Tok Seng because it's a big workshop there. Prosthetists and orthotists, as the name suggests, works with prosthetics and orthotics. 
The oldest known prosthetics are two different artificial toes from ancient Egypt and they were thought to be 2,600 to 3,400 years old. On the other hand, orthoses were used throughout history to provide support for weakened limbs and other body regions such as the spine. Orthoses became more prominent in the early 1950s due to the polio epidemic where patients wore external supports on their legs to help regain their mobility. For your info, Prosthetics are limb replacements, so your pirate hook is actually a form of prosthetics. While orthotics, on the other hand, support body parts. So think of your teeth braces, but for your limbs. In our local context, conditions such as diabetes could lead to other issues such as weakened muscles or loss of sensation that could also further lead to patients developing wounds that won't be able to heal well. Oftentimes, orthotics can help provide support and protection to the weakened limb earlier on to minimise the chances of these wounds worsening or even occurring in the first place. So if these wounds are not managed well, it might eventually lead to an amputation which might then require the use of prosthetics. So Claudia, can you share with us an interesting experience throughout your career as a PO? Sometimes, as PNOs, we are so focused on the standing and the walking because that, that's where most of the fine-tuning happens. An interesting patient, after I made the leg for him, the patient seemed really unhappy and he made me feel a bit helpless, but I couldn't figure out the answer. After a few sessions, I realised that to this patient, sitting comfort was the most important. This patient actually spent most of the time sitting down. To all PNOs, problem-solving is very important. That's a lot of our job, but it is the most important to listen to the patient and to put the patient first. Mm -hmm. And that's how we work together with the patient to make a device that does its job, but that the patient also likes and wants to use. Thank you so much, Claudia, for sharing about your life and experience as a PO. I think I have a deeper appreciation for the work that you guys do. It's been my pleasure. Come anytime. Okay, I will. Bye bye. What a legendary experience. If you are intrigued by the idea of becoming a prosthetist and orthotist, or if you are interested in learning more about other medical allies, there are healthcare scholarships available to assist you in this learning journey. Let me know what other healthcare professions you'd like me to explore next. Just keep thinking.